Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows. If you are not subscribed yet, smack that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating a Facebook page for the Facebook ads that we will be creating in future videos. So there's a few important things to keep in mind when you're creating your actual Facebook page and we will dive into that right now. So you can just come to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash creation and click get started enter your business or brand. So if you have like a domain name for like best products, whatever you want to name it, name it right there in the page name. You want to keep everything related. And then for the category depends on whatever type of website you have. So I'm not going to go through that because that's whatever you guys want to do. But I will show you a Facebook page that I had created previously and show you what I did to get this Facebook page ready and to get it ready for ads to be ran on it. So this page is called Best Products 101 and the at BP 101 official. I'm not running ads on it right now, but I did run a few uh, e-com offers on it a while ago. You can see August 2nd, I ran an existing post that did really well for me for a while and then it kind of died out but uh, I want to show you the setting so once you get your page created you'll be like right here and then you can just come click on settings and the very first thing I want to cover is the profanity filter right here so when you first create your page the profanity filter will be off by default but you can just come click on it and set this strong because you don't want people swearing on your Facebook page because if people see comments like bad comments with swear words they'll it'll create like an uneasy feeling so you definitely don't want that on any of your posts next is page moderation so you can block certain comments if they contain swear words even though we have the profanity filter sometimes it's they slip by um, especially like misspelled swear words and like scam related comments and stuff like that. Um, these are some of the uh, comments that have gotten through the profanity filter, like some of these just dumb ones. So just go through and add some keywords like scam, doesn't work, stupid, and misspelled swear words and all that. Um, that's always a good idea to do that. Um, profanity filter set strong we covered that now the next one I want to cover is template and tabs so one thing I want you guys to notice on the tabs is this reviews tab right here so if you have a customer that goes through and buys your product that you're promoting on a Facebook ad and for some reason didn't like it or something they will go back and write a bad review on your page and you definitely do not want that because that will mess with your business dramatically so show reviews off that's just what I like to do if you guys are very confident that you won't have any people get mad at your page or write a bunch of hateful comments then you can leave reviews on but there's a lot of crazy people out in this world that get ticked off very easily by the stupidest little things so that's why I just keep it off so those are the three main things I wanted to cover in the settings and then Adding your profile picture and your cover is super easy, especially if you just come over to Canva, create a design, and they already have like the dimensions for Facebook, um, the Facebook cover photo, or the Facebook uh, profile picture. Right there, I just did a simple BP for best products. And then they have a bunch of cool little templates that are already pre-made and that you can edit. So we can just scroll through, pick one, so for this example, I'll just choose this. I'll probably change this later, but just write best products 101 and then maybe like a, a shop now call to action. And I'd, I'd like to have that bolded. So that looks pretty good. I'll download that. So we have that downloaded. I'll just come and add the cover photo. And that looks pretty good for now. Best products 101, shop now. 
So we got the page profile picture and the cover photo all set. And that's pretty much it for this video. Creating your Facebook fan page is super simple. You can do it in under five minutes. Um, remember canva.com, it's totally free to use, free to sign up. Uh, they offer like more advanced designs at uh, like a dollar. There are some cover photos that I could have purchased for a dollar and they looked pretty cool, but I just went with the free one for this example. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about social proofing your fan page. And this is important for two reasons. It brings credibility when people come to your Facebook fan page and they're looking through, let's say you have a bunch of existing posts. If they're looking through and they see like you have a thousand plus likes on the page, they'll be more likely to buy from you. And the second reason why social proofing your fan page is important, this is especially important for new ad account owners. So this is a brand new ad account and I'm gonna run a simple social proof engagement campaign for my Facebook page and this is gonna warm up the ad account. And warming up your ad account is very important because because when you do these social proof Facebook po or Facebook page promotions, um, they'll rarely ever get disapproved and once you get one campaign approved it'll be easier to start creating more campaigns and getting them approved so those are the two main reasons it's important to social proof your fan page i will be creating that video right after this one and that is it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.